I just finished replacing a curb here. They're going to repave the street. So we want to get the curb done before they did it. I'm going to show you how we did it. Well, today we are going to fix this curb. You see it down here? And it's all uh, mismatch. You could kick it and it moves. So it doesn't go deep. And we're going to fix this. First, when you're going to fix something, what do you do? You go over here and look what they did. They just did this uh, a couple weeks ago. They just laid it right on the ground. See it? And then they just connected it to here. Now they're going to repave this whole street. So we're trying to get it done before they pave the street. Well, how many bags of cement am I going to use? There's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna start ripping this footer out. There ain't much to it. That was you had to make the sidewalk straight. One was sticking out too much. Hold here. This is gonna go in there like that. I got my rebar in. I'm gonna tie them together so they stay just like that. Warmed it up. I put plastic down here because I want it to knit to this. I don't want it to touch the sidewalk, so we keep the side rock separate. As you can see they brushed that so 
we do the same thing. We brush it. Just get the brush, run it over the top. That's it. And just cutting the plastic away. Like that. Forms off. Add a little Portland, mix a little Portland up. Fill in all those little potholes like that. Just sponge. Like that. Just go over it with the sponge. Well, that's the end of it. They came and they blacktopped, and they already hit the curb and scraped it a couple times. So. But that's par for the course. That's what it looks like when it's done. I'm going to talk about that job a little bit. I did that job for a guy I went to high school with. And he calls me up and he got this ridiculous price. And I went and I looked at it and I said, well, we'll just do this and this. And he was trying to get it done before they paved the street, which was like two days away. So we went in there and we, we put it back. But concrete in my area especially curbs, doesn't last. Here's a picture of the weather that we get in northeastern Pennsylvania up in the mountains where I live. And what it is is it, it's, it freezes at night and it, then it thaws out, then it rains and it freezes at night and it thaws out. It's just like when you get an asphalt shingle roof. Same thing, it looks good for 10 years, looks good for 15, 20, 25, it's looking a little ratty. 30 it's falling apart 35 years the shingles are falling off you need a new roof same thing with concrete it falls apart in our area now maybe you live down south it's different but in our area it falls apart what happens is the water gets in there and it starts freezing and it starts crumbling so I'm not a big fan of concrete and what happened is in the old days everything was built out of granite curbs and then they'd have pavers and the only thing you have to do is go dig them up and put them back down and then you're okay and they went concrete crazy in the 1940s but I have this video out it's called sidewalks old school versus new school and you'll see them over in Europe and in China putting the curbs in the old school way They're, those curbs are granite they last for hundreds of years all they do is get a pick and shovel and redo them and put them back and they're good so Concrete curbs is almost a sin in our area, but it's become a tradition, and there's nothing else you could do. It doesn't matter if you dig, dig, dig the whole thing out and go deep and put the forms in and all this stuff. 30 years, it's falling apart. The people with the gas company came and fixed the gas line, put a new piece of sidewalk in, so we had to match it. So thanks for watching the videos. I hope you uh, get something out of them. I'm Mike Haddock, and that's it.